about this one? No. What about this one? No. Surely this one. But whatever it is, we're going to take a look at them all next. That's right, folks, Batman once again with another tier list video. Today, we're going to take a look at each and every one of the Batman Rover strips from, of course, in the Premier League era. Of course, we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, stop what you're doing. Swallow what you're doing. Smash your subscribe button to keep back and take all things Batman Rovers related. Championship related. World football related. And the football shirts related. We're going to go here. Oh, no, one, Ruski. That's right, boys and girls. So we're going to go back at least 30 years, give or take, uh, to take a little look at, of course, each and every one of the Batman Rovers home jerseys and rank them from elite all the way through to crap. And of course, we'll get, to, uh, yeah, we'll leave it to your discussion as well in the old comment section of what you think was the, ba the best Blackburn Rover strip. Of course, I do have a whole bunch of them myself. Even some are back at home. Oh, I say back home, back with my parents. Uh, so they're not all here. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let's get in the deep end, of course, and take a little look at what I'm talking about. Of course, we are going here and going to rank them all one by bloody one uh, in the old tier list. Of course, let's uh, get into it then. Of course, jumping in straight in the deep end, hopefully, with the first one, which will be the current jersey uh, for Blackburn Rover which is this guy right here. Now, I don't actually have this one yet. Uh, I, I, I should have bought it. I, it's been on my mind, but of course, you know, uh, money money's tied to the moment. Uh, I do, I did, I did have a little bit of reservations about this shirt when it came back in uh, early doors, of course. But it started it grew on me. Of course, we came in here without a sponsor, uh, but then we got recover right. I thought it was a very, very good choice as well. And, it's, and it is a good looking shirt. I do like the red, the red flashes, of course, and the the the, the, the subtle color here is good. I do, I do think it is. I think I know there are better shirts out there than this one, but there's no, it's not failure by any means. So I'm going to slide it in here in the good one. That is, of course, for the 2020 2020. 21 season so it goes in there right right now so the end of the end goal of this video is to have maybe five or six along here and then we'll, we'll pick one to go into the elite and that is the best of the whole shit shit and shit and caboodle uh next up we have this one now this one is a, a bit of a, a, spe a special one uh, it does it is available without the nhs but this is the, the image that i picked up here um at a liverpool venue it looks like anyway that's a nice one the bet 10 of course uh gambling logos are everywhere and and, and anywhere uh hopefully there's to get phased out these days but to be fair some of the logos with betting sponsors and and, and that the, the the sponsor is a big lure for me in some of the the shirts of course this one does look okay even though it is a betting uh, franchise and all that kind of stuff uh but but to be fair you know it it does look still looks quite sharp again with the blue and white halves it's very hard to mess that up black Rovers, but guess what you do do that in some of these shirts as well i do like it i get all the red flash as well just the one this time on this arm it looks like uh, and again i got a nice little touch here in the middle little v with of course half and half as well again it's good it's not terrible uh but to be fair umbro the, these past two seasons have done it pretty pretty good uh in in getting the shirt pretty right now this one going back another year watch so what are we at now 2017 2018 i think was this guy which was of course uh, there's light blue and white halves. It kind of got mixed reviews from the fan base, of course. Uh, you got the nice umbro sort of flare on here. It's subtle. It's different. It is different. But do we like it? I think it's not bad when I look back on it. I've got good memories of this one. Uh, well, it was the uh, it was the was it, it was the, sh the season that we got promoted. Uh, it wasn't. This was actually 2018, 2019. Uh, correct me where I'm wrong. So yes, 2018, 2019. We had an okay season. The championship first season back. Good shirt, light light blue, but in all honesty, it's 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 not much change. If I'm honest with you, you got the bet ten logo still. Yeah, again, I I think I think it's good. I don't think it's terrible. So yeah, another good run there from Umbro, but nothing fantastic at the moment. Uh, next up, we've got Daffa Bet One again, another gambling company coming at you. This I believe was the League One campaign. Good memories with this one, especially with the away jersey. Correct me if I'm wrong. It is, I believe it is that jersey. Um, I don't like the collar up here. I think it's all gone a little bit south up here. You can't really see where I'm talking about right here. I don't like the look of that. And I don't know what's going on here either. I don't like these little embellishments here, which just make it a little bit funky for me. So for the first time in this uh, video, we are going to dip down a peg or two to the OK. It's not, it's not horrific. But uh, it isn't. It's it's one of the poorer ones for Umbro, of course. In recent times, again, it was it was the promotion shirt from League One, though. Uh, next up, another Daffabet shirt, straight at you, of course, with a bit more, bit more zing to it. Lovely sharp V-neck with the red, the red there, of course, red flashes as well on the, on either sleeve. 
uh, with a Daffa bet in the middle once again. Not much better than the, the previous one, I think. Again, not too sure about what's going on with the with the with the arm attachments here. It just looks a little bit chunky, a little bit weird. Looks like a vest with, of course, um, you know, arms stuck onto it. So it kind of looks a little bit daft, but it's not bad. Again, there, there are better ones out there, but they're not. This one is not fantastic either. And again, if I do change my mind as we move forward and we're starting to stack these up, then I'm going to start pushing some up there into the great con. But for the time being, it's going to go into the good. And next up here, we got Craig Conway, of course modeling this guy uh of course what year is this we're now looking at maybe uh 2016 2017 something like that um you've got the nike swoosh on there yeah I, I used to like nike when i was growing up as a kid youngster very influential i was uh, influenced by of course nike and all that got a nice looking collar as well this one's pretty good it's pretty tight nice little red flare down the side here as well it's a good it's a good shirt it's, it's probably one of the better better ones the daffabet logo looks very well well in line with of course the other design factors or elements to the shirt so you know what this this one this one this one i think even with craig conry's lovely face on there we'll, maybe we'll cut him out because he does take up a bit fair a bit of the image we'll cut his little face out and of course we'll just we'll uh, trim it down but of course i think this goes into the great column to be fair i think this was a nice looking shirt and uh yeah i've just seen what's coming though i've just seen what's coming around the corner and we don't i don't think i like this next one so up we go to great so yeah fair play to great and next up of course we had um i think we are now moving to uh where are we so that's league one and then of course that was the chance so this one here i believe is 2015 2016 I, correct me if i'm wrong is that right or is it uh 2014 2015 i need to correct myself on this one let me have a little look uh where are we it's the 2014 2015 shirt the zebra this is the rudy gestead bad boy we, we all know rudy of course goal scoring machine he was with of course jordan rhodes I don't like it. I'm, I'm going to be straight up with you. It's a Nike one with some horrendous dark flare on there. Um, just like this other light blue. The blue on the other other side. Not on the same side of the emblem. So it's a bad one. It's a bad move. And I do think this is this is going into the dog shit bin here, boys. But the first one for me into the crap crap belongings get in there get out of my sight i don't even know if i own that shirt uh next up another pretty shapely looking bad shirt what do we got here we've got 2012 2013 uh where's 13 and 14 do i have 13 and 14 i'm wondering if you have 13 and 14 um i don't think i see it but regardless we'll have a look at this guy we got 2012 2013 it's the pro biz another hideously looking bad shirt that's right from rose don't like the logo the logo detracts it big time without the logo you know what it'd be okay it'd be not too shabby and again you could get the shirts without the logo but to be fair the v-neck also lets it down I'm, I'm i'm considering putting it in the in the okay but to be fair it's not that it's not worthy it's not worthy for me it's going to go down here in the crap bin right here in the dog in the in the pound store rover shirts uh next up though what we got here we've got uh what this one this one 2012 2013 this one's better i like it and it is of nike as well let's have a look let's bring it into the to the vortex here there we go look at that sharp son of a gun yeah i'm liking it i'm liking it of course nike with the nike swish is white good good little touch that very little subtle touch and i think they've got the blue and white arms bang on here um the the sleeves look immaculate the v is also good a shame it's in the medium because I would have had, I would have gobbled this one up. Uh, yeah, the RFS looks fine as well. A sponsor, you know, whatever it may be, I don't know. But uh, for me, that's a, that's just a great shirt. I like this one very, very much. So, uh, what year was it again? This was 2012, 2013, of course. That season, where did we finish? We finished around about uh, uh, 17th in the championship. First season down in the championship. With, of course, uh, Chaos. Uh, after that, or before that, should I say, is this Badger. Now, I do like this one. Uh, is the Princess Trust one. This is our last one in the Premier League, I believe, when we got relegated. So, a lot of bad juju with this shirt, but it's fine. Uh, the logo is good. I like this. I love the red flare as well. And the V-neck looks good. It's umbro. The only sort of thing, the sleeves are a bit wonky and, 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 and whatnot. I don't... I even got... I've got this one framed back here uh, as well. And I think I might even have this one autographed loose as well. I might have this signed twice maybe uh regardless um yeah it's it's a not bad shirt it's pretty pretty savvy i like it uh it's not the best picture in the world but you know what who cares i'm i'm, I'm putting it in the good pile it's not that good it might get promoted as we move forward into the next ones 
But uh, to be fair, and again, it's got a little bit of bad juju, so it can't it can't be that fantastic. Uh, next up, we have a long sleeve version of a shirt. It is uh, what are we looking at? Crown Paints. Uh, it's 2010, 2011. Uh, of course, who remembers that season? Of course, 2010, 2011. Of course, uh, Nuka, Nikola Kalinic on the score sheet there. Just five goals. Pretty, pretty, pretty well full time. I think this is when Keane took over. Um, yeah, it's got a collar on there. It's got a it's got a V neck. To be fair. I think when you've got a collar, you do need a button, to be fair. I think it doesn't make it look a little bit sharper. This looks a bit, I don't know. It's not not good, is it? Not good. So, it's, to be fair, um, I'm going to put this one, again, not 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 blessed with, with the best years. This one is not terrible, but it's it's okay. Um, again, I'm going to stick it down in the okay part. Next up, of course, we have another Crown Paints one. This must be, uh, it reminds me of, of course, Matey Boy, Chris Samba, uh, sitting pretty there, of course. What year, what year are we? We're taking a look at 2009, 2010. Uh, Sam Allardyce era, I think. Uh, David Dunn, Benny McCarthy, that sort of stuff. Is that right? 2009, 2010? I think so. 2009, 2010. What do we think about this one? We're going to go with, um, yeah, okay, better. The V, the V looks pretty, pretty snazzy. I like the V. Not got all the colours in there. The blue and white in there, plus a bit of red. Not too bad shirt. This one, I think this one, this one deserves to be uh, for the time being. I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it in the in the good part, but it has the makings of moving up another rank to maybe even great. Next up, we have another crown paints one. I don't really like this one. I don't even like the image either. It's pretty pretty horrendous. Not much of a V. I, I don't know what I prefer, a collar or V or, or, or a circular neck. Uh, but anyway, this one is 2008-2009. Um, I'm not too sure about it, to be fair. I think it's it's worse as a downgrade than the last one. Uh, the crown paints ones don't really give me much, much joy, to be fair. So I think that's a pretty shitty one. I'm going to put it in the okay pile. I might even get relegated. Uh, next up, I bet 24 won this one. Um... I've got this one. I think you might even see it at the start. It might have been a bit snug. I'm uh, not sure about the old Ambro flashes down here. It looks a bit zebra, zebra-y. Um, and, of course, I'm not too sure about this colour up here. To be fair, it's not the best of, of, of Rover shirts. And, again, you can't really screw up Blue and White Hearts much. But this one, uh, the Umbro placement is a little bit... bit bit weird looking as well to be fair so this is another another shady looking rover shirt in my eyes not not the best of the bunch uh and i'm actually going to put it in the uh in the crap pile yep that's right got that one and the, and the, the bet the bet 24 looks a little bit a little bit uh crappy as well next up of course another bet 24 one maybe this is the one i have and i don't like it either uh i do like some of them i do like some of them there are there are some real good ones and, I, and i'm just saying this uh, out of the the pick of the litter uh this one's 2008 two, no, 2006 2007 um don't know what the, about this this all this it just looks a bit weird i don't know if it's just this image it's got someone's feet in it as well um still labeled it just doesn't look good doesn't look flattering does it so another shady looking bet 24 one, not the best for me. And again, it's going to go into the crap aisle. That's right. In the crap aisle we go. Next up, we have a, a long sleeve version here. It's uh, it's uh, Lonsdale. Uh, we're looking at uh, what year is this from 2005, 2006. We're going back a bit now. Um, 15 years old, I'll say. Right flash, red flashes down the side. It's different. It's got a bit of a, a little bit of embellishment in the middle here. Lonsdale as well, both shirt and maker. You know what? It's, it's a pretty good shirt. I do like it. I don't have this one. I, I don't think I do anyway. Um, I'm going to put it in the OK pile. I'm expecting to get some real good... I'm a retro man, if you don't know me. I do like me all retro stuff and my 90s stuff. Next up, we have a HSA. That's right, made by Lonsdale again. Uh, this one is, uh, of course, a year older. And we're looking at uh, 2004, 2005. Oh, goodness gracious me, what's coming up? Uh, looks absolutely hideous. This one's not bad, though. Uh, not, again, the, 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 the placement of the logo looks good. Looks like it's got a bit of felt on there, maybe. Um, and again, the V-neck's okay. It's got little, little vent-type things here to cool you down. It's, it's pretty good shirt. I like this one. We finally see an upgrade. I think I'm going to put this in the great column because we haven't got many up there. And I do think uh, it, uh, it, it's, it's of that standard. Next up, though, this is, a, this is definitely one for uh, certain tastes, of course. It's this one. It's like you're going scuba diving. Uh, that's right. What is this? What is this? Uh, it's blue white hearts. It's got red stitching all over the shop, and we've got the chest, the crest, right smack dab in the middle of the chest. Uh, again, it's a rare breed. This one, you either love it or you hate it. It's kind of like Marmite, and I don't really particularly find it very, very good. I think the away one might. Oh, the next one though. The next one. The next one has something about it. Um, this one for me is woeful. But what year are we looking at? We are looking at two thousand three, two thousand four. Let's go. Put them in the crap. Definitely. This one though. This one. This one's good, but it's good for only. It's good for multiple reasons. 
However, however, there is a there is a, a negative thing for this, but it is pretty. Sh it's up there. It's elite already. I think it's elite. But if you've not got the figure for it or the frame for it, this could look very, very woeful. I think for the players, it would look bang on. Of course, all, all athletic bodies and all that kind of stuff. It'd be nice figure tights, you know, but, you, you know, I've got, I think I've got the away version of this. Um, oh, I should have the own one, though. This this is good. The the logo does let let it down. Of course, with the with the, the suspected material, I think the the uh, felt would not have uh, would not have been a good match for this. But of course, Cap has a good fancy logo, Italian logo. Good, got the blue and white. It's got a bit of black in there as well, or at least darker blue. Red flashes. Love the V neck. Good, good quality, lovely shirt. This goes in the great column. But the only negative, of course, if, if you're a chunky little monkey like me, I can, I'm a little bit. I'm not the not the best frame of these days. It's COVID frame. Uh, it would be sticky to me, and uh, and it would it would I would walk down the town with that and they'd say, hey, bitch tits over there, because I'll be looking all all bitch titty, of course. Is this the same one? Of course, I'm looking at the same one. Um, I think this is the year. The yo, it is different. It's different. We might even have. We might even have to reassess. We might even have to reassess because this one is also pretty stank stanky. I've got the away one of this one for sure. It's got the AMD processors gra uh, graphic on this. I love that. I love anything computer related on the front. You know, I think Man United again get Team Viewer next season. I do like funky sponsors. Like sometimes some shirts have got like Doritos on there or Nachos. I think that's really cool or Taco Bell or something like that. Uh, but this one is suave. Uh, this uh, this is an upgrade. Uh, yeah, I'm going to reassess. I've got it's it's beautiful, beautiful shirt. I'm, it's pretty much the same as the HSA, but with a trendy graphic so we're going to change that up we're going to move this guy back down to the thing and then we're going to go him in here i think i think that's 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 class oh gosh gosh they're all good they're all bloody good now it's starting to get really good now these are this is the era this is the bloody era what have i done what have i done get back here again kappa kappa have hit another home run look at that bobby dazzler pure blue and white colors a bit weird but it's okay it's, you know you you definitely don't want to it's i don't know it's, nothing's getting out of there is it this is beautiful though it's crisp time not too sure about the sponsor but you know what it's pretty good it's pretty good lads it's going in the great column i can't i love i love the cap on me i love the cap i think it looks very suave uh what have we got next another banger we got the banger all the bangers are coming now here's the retro styly of course uh with head show on the back we're gonna get rid of that because it takes up too much of the screen uh but this is i've got this one i've got this one i think i put it in the var in the frame uh, it's behind me you can't see it it's good though Crest down the middle. I think this one's better than the um, than the last crest down the middle. Of course, Premier League flashes retro collars. Okay, it's pretty good. Uh, it's not the best though. It's not the best, of course. Um, I'm gonna put it in the okay pile. It's it's good. I do like it, and I like the 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 detail on the on the fabric as well. All sport. We don't see many of them. They're like rocking all shit. They are. So that goes in there, I think. For me though, next up, this is one of my favourites. I go. I've got the long sleeve of these, and you see me wear it a lot. Uh, it's this bad boy, 1998, I think. Good times, good times. 2000 CIS. I do have the long sleeve. I do like the button. I do like the collar. I think this one's this one's elite, guys. I do think this is a, this is up there, up there indeed. Let's get it right in there. Of course, this is the day when we uh, you, you had this shirt for a couple of seasons, of course. And then of course, there's the banger right here, right now. I think this is the title winner right here, 94, 95. Again, it is blessed with, of course, good memories. Um, and of course it is, it will be great, of course. And I'm going to try and be unbiased here when it comes to, uh, picking the overall winner. Um, and again, we're going to wrap it up with, of course, the first short world by Rovers in the Premier League is this bad boy, which, which was of course from 1992 to 1994. Again, it's of course by McEwen's Lager. Uh, I do think that I do like this better than the, the title winning shirt. This, this, the graphical element with a transparent background. I think this one looks a little bit cheap with uh, with that in there the buttons there the blue and white collar's good as well you know what it's, it's it's got something about it as well but it's just a little bit too rough around the the uh, the edges so i'm going to stick this in the, in the good pile right here and we're left we're left with a few we're left with a few to choose from here to go into the elite we're going to pick one and one only um, of course, the Daffabet one with the collar with Nike was good. This one was crisp as well without the collar. Also was very, very good. The HSA is good, but it's not great. To be fair, I'm going to eliminate that one right here, right now. Um, and then I'm also going to eliminate one of these two Kappas. Uh, to be fair, I'm probably going to eliminate this one with the AMD processor. And that's bold because I do like that one a lot. I think this one is much, much crisper though. Uh, so we're left with this one. We're left with, uh, I'm probably going to eliminate one of these Nikes as well. The RFS. I'm going to eliminate this one here with the collar. So we're left with this one, the RFS and the Time 
one. And then, of course, we've got the, the title winner. And then we've got the CIS one with the eight. And both made my A6. Uh, one with a collar, one with a title memories. It's hard. It's hard because I'm, I do like this CIS one. Um, I'm going to eliminate. Yeah, it's bold and it's in its brass, uh, of course. And I'm going to eliminate the, the title winner to leave us with this one. The Time by Kappa and, of course, the RFS one by Nike. Uh, so what does that leave us? One of these three will go to the Elite. Uh, Shall we move them up there just so you can have a little look at them? Just so you know what I'm talking about. It's either this one. It's either this one or it is this one. I do have, actually, this one in the house. Uh, long sleeve version. But if I'm going to be a picky, I do actually really, really love the Kappa one. And that's going to be my elite uh, Blackburn Rovers shirt from all the years. That's it. That's the winner. That's the best shirt Blackburn Rovers I've ever had in the Premier League era. And that is just my opinion. What about you guys? What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about those Premier League shirts for Blackburn Rovers. I do agree. Do you good? Disagree? Let me know in the comment section. We'll do it all again. In fact, I'm going to be looking at doing uh, videos for each and every one of the Premier League clubs that are in the Premier League right here right now over the past 30 years that's going to be something i'm going to be doing throughout the remainder of the season so make sure you come by and check that out so if you like that sort of content make sure you give the video a like smash the thumbs up and smash the old subscribe as well check the links down below i'm on twitter i'm on facebook and again i'm on patreon if you want to support the channel in and all the way that's the best place to do it but yes that's it love the shirts love the memories and of course maybe maybe we might even do the, the away shirts as well because there's some right little stinkers out there uh, but that's, that's of course for another day i want to see how well this does if, if this gets around about 50 likes we'll do the away team uh the away shirt of course but uh, with our, without the likes or not we are going to be looking at the Premier League teams as well so make sure you stick by for that uh, until then though smash the thumbs up smash the subscribe and see you all next time for some more shirt rankings old school retro style till then I'm out <laughs>